When it comes to social justice, there's one word that can stop almost any conversation dead in its tracks. Privilege. If you've ever stumbled into a conversation about racism, you've probably heard the phrase white privilege, which has been ruffling feathers since the phrase became commonplace in the 1960s. The concept of privilege isn't limited to race, but when it's brought up, no matter who you're talking to, too often the response isn't very friendly. Privilege? How dare you? So what exactly is privilege, and why does talking about it make so many people so angry? Privilege is defined as a special right or advantage available only to a particular person or group of people. In the context of social inequality, it means that some groups of people are treated better than others based on their race, gender, class, sexuality, or physical ability. Now here's the thing about privilege. Everyone has it. You've got privilege! You've got privilege! We've all got privilege! So for example, as an able-bodied person, I've never struggled to find a bathroom that I can comfortably access or gone out to lunch with friends to only realize that I can't find a parking spot to get into the restaurant or even fit through the door. When I turn on my favorite show, I can watch and enjoy with ease because I don't require captions or descriptive narration, which too many shows don't have. So why does talking about privilege make some people angry? I think there are a number of reasons why privilege can be difficult to talk about. Number one, when people hear the word privilege, it feels like they're being blamed. When we use privilege in everyday conversations, we hear phrases like, X is a privilege, not a right. So the vocabulary makes it seems like it's something that you don't deserve. Combine that with the fact that conversations about social inequality tend to be very passionate, it's easy to understand why someone might be upset when check your privilege comes up. No one wants to be the bad guy, and for some people, the concept of privilege feels like they're being blamed for something that's out of their control. And when you think about it that way, sure, that's bound to make someone angry. Number two, privilege makes people feel guilty. Talking about privilege is not meant to make you feel guilty. Guilt isn't productive. Acknowledging it isn't about shame, it's about challenging the system that perpetuates inequality. The existence of privilege isn't my fault or your fault, but understanding and acknowledging it is an important first step in working to make a world where these obstacles don't exist. However, ignoring the problem or refusing to acknowledge the problem exists just allows it to continue and thrive. Number three. Anger is a defense mechanism. For some people, talking about privilege feels like they're being attacked, or worse yet, that their privilege is going to be taken away. In reality, privilege describes things that everyone should experience. For example, as a straight person, I don't encounter people passing judgment when I'm affectionate with my husband in public. That's not a bad thing. It should be that way for everyone, no matter their sexual orientation. Number four, they just don't understand privilege. The thing about privilege is it's kind of hard to see. It's like when a horse has those blinders on. They can see what's in front of them, but there's a whole bunch of stuff in the peripheral that they can't see. As wonderful as it would be for everyone to be treated fairly and equal no matter who they are, that's just not the world we live in. Privilege doesn't mean you're rich, a bad person, have had everything handed to you, or have never had challenges or struggles. It just means that there are some challenges and struggles that you won't experience because of who you are. So when you've lived your whole life with something, it's hard to understand what it's like for those without. Now, it's impossible for me to guarantee that every time privilege is brought up, it's justified, or that everyone talks about these issues in a responsible way that's free of name calling or personal attacks. And unfortunately, if you've ever had a particularly nasty encounter that included the word privilege, then you might be turned off forever. But if you want to support equality for everyone, which I hope is why you're watching this show, it's important to remember that these conversations are inherently tough but necessary. And the discomfort or anger you may feel when talking about or understanding or acknowledging your privilege pales in comparison to the oppression that those on the other side of the coin deal with every day. So if you ever had difficulty talking to someone about privilege, or maybe you had trouble understanding it or even acknowledging it, tell us about it in the comments below and we'll see you next week right here on Decoded. In our last sketch, we revealed the secret training camp for social justice warriors. Here's what you had to say. You're right, Nick, there's nothing wrong with poking fun at yourself, but there's also nothing wrong with standing up for the rights of everyone. Uh-oh, Legamo, you are on to our secret plan. <laughs> You know what, Naruto? I also support freedom of speech, but saying that you're offended or sharing how you feel about something is not inhibiting your freedom of speech. Freedom of speech does not mean freedom of consequences.